What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Elizabeth Banks, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Um, all you do is you prove people like me right. All you do is show your nonsense and how crazy the Hollywood bubble is. All you do, all you do is show us why the mainstream media is dying, why we've lost faith in Hollywood, why we have lost faith in so many people because the woke side of the political spectrum is out of control. Elizabeth Banks, director of the latest Charlie's Angels movie, says if Charlie's Angels bombs, it reinforces a stereotype in Hollywood that men don't want to see women do action movies. Oh, that's just the beginning of how crazy this is because it gets better and better and better because as you read the article, she then gets, I don't know if she's reminded or maybe she's uh, thinks about how stupid the comment that she made is. And I want to repeat what she says. If Charlie's Angels bombs, it reinforces a stereotype in Hollywood that men don't want to go see women do action movies. Now in the classic SJW mentality, they are constantly changing the rules, constantly moving the goalposts, and that's exactly what we have here. Um, they'll go and see a comic book movie with Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel because that's a male genre. So even though those are movies about women, they put them in the context of feeding the larger comic book world. So it's all about, yes, you're watching a Wonder Woman movie, but we're setting up three other characters or we're setting up Justice League. So you say that if people don't go see your movie, it reinforces a stereotype that men don't go see women do action movies, but then you admit that men do go see women in action movies, but because you're changing the rules to fit your victim narrative, you're still going to justify this all-time horrific take on this topic. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I, I love it. They make these dumb movies. They target anti. They do the anti-man uh, targeting the marketing campaign, and then when the people that they are targeting uh, don't want to go see it, then they go after the people that they were targeting to not go see it and blaming them for not going to see it. What? Same thing with Batwoman. What? Same thing with Ghostbusters 2016. What? Unbelievable. These people are crazy. Um. Yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, this is, this woman, I mean, I've never had a problem with Elizabeth Banks, but yeah, man, like this, this might, and it has officially flopped. It opened at 8.6 million domestically on a $50 million budget. This movie is not going to make its money back. It will be a flop. Elizabeth Banks is woke. Elizabeth Banks has shown her wokeness. And I think it's truly hilarious. And I love when Hollywood people make these points. I love when they do this. Again, the things that we are saying, we are not just making it up. I mean, I heard that there was some people. There was a few people out there, a few people that had some problems. The fact that we covered a Bounding Into Comics article where we were talking about Jennifer Lopez and Robert Pattinson, and it was a joke. It's just a joke. You can't report on that, Jeremy. It's a joke. It's your responsibility to not report on that because they were clearly joking. What you fail to understand and what you're failing to want to acknowledge is that these people don't joke about things that they don't truly believe in. Normal people do. Normal people make jokes all the time. Hollywood people do not joke about things like that. If it's a joke, how about we see someone sit there and tell The Rock, hey, hey, Rock, I'd love to see you play Wonder Woman. And Rock goes, of course I could play Wonder Woman. Of course I could play Wonder Woman. Ha 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 ha. Wink, wink, wink. Because they can't say that. Because then the feminists and the SJWs would go after The Rock for being disrespectful. How dare you talk about being a whammon in a movie? You're not a whammon. So when we hear Jennifer Lopez or Robert Pattinson allude to the fact that Jennifer Lopez could play Batman... You have to look at it and go, okay, is there a precedent for this type of behavior in Hollywood? Huh, Ghostbusters 2016. Huh, we just saw Batwoman literally in the marketing say that she's not going to let a man take credit for what a woman's doing. 
yet she's literally stealing another man's identity and all of his equipment to accomplish what she's accomplishing, all but just excluding the man from the equation, even though you needed to use the man to get yourself in that position. We've seen what's happened with Luke Skywalker. Of course Hollywood would love to have a female bat uh, Batman. Of course they would. So don't sit there and tell me that we can't report on a rumor when Jennifer Lopez has gone orange man bad all the time over the president, yet did she go Obama man bad? No, because you're not allowed to do that in Hollywood. So everything we talk about, we have tangible evidence to support our concerns. Do I believe Robert Pattinson and Jennifer Lopez were joking? Absolutely I do. But I also believe that there's some truth into that because Hollywood people don't typically say things they're not supposed to say or they don't fall in line with the narrative. And when you look at the context of what they were saying, you absolutely can point to the fact that there's some substance behind that. So if you set Robert Pattinson down and you go, Robert, do you think a woman could play Batman? What do you think Robert's going to say? He's going to give you this PC bullshit answer. He's not going to say like, this is stupid. No. Why do you want a woman to play Batman? No. He would not say that. He would absolutely not say that because you're not allowed to say it in Hollywood. So you can believe that it was an innocent joke and that's your prerogative. But that's not the way I approached it and that's not the way we approached it. And that's our prerogative. So back to the point at hand here. These people are crazy. And this type of nonsense is exactly why we reported on the Jennifer Lopez, Robert Pattinson comments, because this is the type of shit these people believe. If that doesn't concern you, then that's fine. You can be happy with Ghostbusters 2016. You can be happy with Luke Skywalker being uh, Jake Skywalker. You can be happy with Batwoman taking all the credit for, or taking all of Batman's equipment, his identity, and then saying she's not going to let a man take a credit for a woman. You can do all that. You can support all that, but I don't. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.